boys and girls, I present the fabulous Fifi. Here we are in scenic Switzerland, where we find that old mountain climbing buff, a pink panther. Wait a minute. It looks like he's got somebody's goat. Look out, buddy, there's an angry goat heading your way. Well, so much for Switzerland. What a cruel and vicious face. Sergeant Dudu! Where is that stupid sergeant? Dudu, front and center! You call me inspector? Yes. Study that cruel and vicious face. If you see the creature, take no chances. Use force to subdue it. That's an order. Holy frijoli. Hey, inspector, is that an order? Of course it's an order. Okay. Subdue. You want to come along peacefully or should I subdue you more? <laughs> Today, children, your lecture deals with how to cross the street safely. You will notice that the light is red. And you never cross the street when the light is red. Because a car will hit you, causing you to have oozes, broken bones, compound fractures. Huh. Now the light is green, and you can cross the street with perfect safety. You see, when the light is green, you have the right of way, and the cars must stop. Because if they do not stop, they must deal with me, the police. The law will protect you. Just watch. But, Inspector! Any questions? <laughs> Today, children, for our safety lecture, we will discuss the dangers of electricity. This is an ordinary house lamp, which is used to read by. Now, the dangerous part of a lamp is called the socket. You must remember to never stick your fingers into the socket, because that is where the electricity would be if the lamp were plugged in. What are you doing, Dudu? I am plugging it in. When you did that, you stretched the lamp cord and broke it. Now, thanks to your stupidity, I shall have to tie it together again. Yahoo! <laughs> Inspector, tell it to us again. That was very funny. <laughs> Today's safety lecture deals with the subject fire. And you know that this is a match, and a match is harmless until you strike it. And then you get fire. The fire is this red stuff up here. Oh, 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 Surely you're not going to put your head into that lion's mouth. <laughs> well, folks, you are looking at an exhibition of raw courage. <laughs> Frankly, I didn't think he'd get out of there all in one piece. Of course, he could have been gummed to death. Children, today the police department safety program features safety in swimming. As you know, water is very beneficial when you use it correctly. But, of course, some people use it for drowning, so you should never go into the water if you can't swim. Those of us who can swim approach the water without fear. Observe the expression of utter disconcern on my face as I ascend to the diving bell. That is because I have conquered water and can swim. <laughs> you, you. Where is the water? Holy frijoli. Didn't you know I was cleaning the pool? <laughs> All right, you pusillanimous pink vagrant. I'm taking you in. In case you get any ideas about escaping, I'm going to handcuff us together. There. Now, come along quietly. <laughs> Cunning pink wretch. He did 
need a king. <laughs> strawberry, yeah. That's good stuff, that strawberry. There's your strawberry, your ice cubes, and your cup. Now, wasn't that refreshing? Aw, now you're going away mad. And he forgot his chain. I'm looking for Tom Tom, the Piper's son who stole a pig. And are you Tom Tom? Oh, I am the pig. He picked you up and ran away with you? He is very strong. <laughs> Aren't you going to arrest him? I just remembered an emergency call. Your first lesson in police work is the study of fingerprints. They are very valuable means of identification. Press your finger onto the ink pad, please. Now, onto the white card. I don't believe it. You have Tom Tom, the Piper's son? We. Oui. I have a report here that you stole a pig. Is that correct? You got me, Coppel. I confess. Just as I thought. And this must be the pig. That's my sister. <laughs> you think this one is pretty, Inspector? I think it's atrocious. Like finger painting done by a child. How about this one? Let's face it, you do. Artists don't have talent anymore. Finger painting. Say, how did this one get in here? Now, that is a work of art. So real one could almost reach out and touch. <laughs> holy, free, holy. The inspector got his finger caught in the finger painting. <laughs> So, that clever pink vagrant thinks he can outsmart me by disguising himself. But he forgot to disguise his footprints. There he is now. That disguise would not fool a nearsighted boy scout. <laughs> now I've got you. Take off those false Ooh. whiskers. Help! Police! A madman! A maniac! Help! <laughs> Playing tennis to pass the time as long as we are marooned on this island is a very good idea of yours. It's yourself. All right, you pink panther, I know you in there. Come out at once. <laughs> All right, you pink panther, I know you are in there. Come out at once. <laughs> All right, you pink panther, I know you are in there. Come out. <laughs> All right. I know you're there. Please, don't come out. <laughs> you pink vendor. I almost caught you that time defacing public property. Here's a pink Beau Brummel. You're the picture of sartorial perfection. Well, almost perfection. Uh-oh. There's more hair than meets the eye. Now look what you did. You've deferred yourself. Now what's he up to? So, nitwit. He mean. Uh oh. I remember. 
He who laughs last may not laugh the loudest. That's because he's got a mouthful of pink fur. Children, I want to bring you a public service message about violence. Violence means somebody gets hurt, and that is not funny. Oh, oh my head. I think I broke it. As I was saying, violence is not funny. Would you laugh at an old lady sleeping on a banana peel? Of course not. Another good example would be... I hope none of you are laughing. Well, well, look what Junior did. He built himself a swing. No, no, stupid. Not on both sides of the tree. Here we are, back at the launching pad again, folks. I wonder if he solved that little problem. Yes, sir, it's another first for pink ingenuity. Well, what's this? Don't worry, it won't bite. It's only one of those newfangled vacuum cleaners. Oh, so you like house cleaning. Well, you certainly are taking this house to the cleaners. Hey, it even cleans up the yard. And in case there's no fire, why leave these things cluttering up the street? Say, maybe he's found a solution to the traffic problem. Uh-oh, now you're in trouble. That's one way out of a ticket. There's only one thing nature abhors more than a vacuum. And that's a pink panther with a vacuum.